Hi there, Phil. Welcome back for more Let's Play Assassin's Creed Revelations. Right, we're almost at the Easter. If you guys, you know, whoever has uh, this uh, Easter holiday, well, I do, and yeah, it's, it's nothing special. Well, uh, at least for me, it's, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Eggs and uh, other good stuff to eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty good. Anyway, I don't care about that. For now, I care about. Oh yeah, let's see our second memory. Yeah, we're gonna stare at, stare at some more, stare at some more. That strange sound we're hearing. Let's get louder, louder, and oh my god, cause this pay to our ears. Ah, oh, I cannot get enough of that eerie sound. Ooh, okay, um, out here. Let's see you, buddy. What else do you have in store for us? Why, why they start to lag so much? I don't get it. It's lagging. Come on. It should have been destroyed. Ah, found. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Oh yeah, I remember. When Altair had his mentor. Yeah, the mentor's wake. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer. Just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? Pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Oh, so now we're gonna have to uh, burn his blood. Alter has killed his mentor Al Mualim for betraying the assassins. Make sure Al Mualim is truly dead and that the assassins understand why. Do not lose more than three synchronization points. Yeah, I got that. <gasps> Are you fit to travel? Well enough. Yes. I asked my excuse me, excuse Jerusalem me. with news of Al Mualim's death. So much Would you ride to Akre and do the same? Of course. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, I have a dead old guy here. I want to burn his body in order to make sure he's dead. I mean, come on, Altair, he's surely dead. I mean, why would you think otherwise? Uh, I have to go up? My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. My body, it would not move. Oh my god, the assassins. Okay. I thought the assassin will, you know, try to kill me or such. But what has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. This Abbas is a jerk. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Sao in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve? What others deliver? Yeah. Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al Mualim fell on Let's see about this asshole. Abbas Sofia, born in 1166, had a rather rough childhood. His father, captured by the Saracens in 1176 and uh, tortured to the breaking point, vanished from his son's life when Abbas was still born. Assuming he had been abandoned, Abbas uh, fell into a deep depression, which only his uh, friendships and devotion to his mentor Al Mualim could ease. But all this changed a few years later when his friend and confidant, Al Tahir, meaning us, Passed on what Abbas assumed was the cruelest of lies that Abbas's father had betrayed the assassin order while under interrogation and had later killed himself to escape his shame. Oh my god, is that true? Infuriated, Abbas refused to believe in his heart, unvarnished truth, a truth Al Mualim refused to corroborate or deny. So from that point forward, Abbas regarded Atayir as a liar and a deceiver, a man too devious and reckless to follow the creed's more austere tenets. 
As he grew into adulthood, Abbas matured into a skilled and respected assassin, but his personality always left something to be desired. Humorless, with an almost fetishistic passion for the Brotherhood, he loved both uh, Amwalib's favoritism as well as Altair Lu's interpretation of the creed. But he remained a loyal servant for many years, always hiding his gnashing contempt for his former friend. Staying silent was difficult, however, and uh, covered the course of Altair's uh, precipitous rise to the rank of master and later mentor, Abbas found himself filled with a creeping hatred he could barely contain. It was only a matter of time before he burst. Spell? Also, he's mad at us. Today he used the apple to inflame Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. Yeah. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The apple is safe in Al Mulin's study. When I'm finished here, I will show you all I know. Yeah, stop hating us just because your father was uh, suicidal maniac. It's not our fault. Well, Al Mulin, sit here, old man, and be prepared to be caught on fire. Altair! No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Since the when? Fire. Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al Malim's phantoms. I must be certain. Nice! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear uh -oh. him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! ah bastard! That was not good. Warden, remain near you. Huh? Here. Uh oh. Oh, this is our decision to prevent a civil war. Do not kill anyone. Alright. Give me that. Oh, I gotta deserve all these fucks. Give me your weapon. Thank you. Next. Oh, man. Altair is awesome. You can't deserve all these guys, so I kill them. What now? You know, I admire Altair. He didn't want to kill any of what his brothers. What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! Ah, bitch! What did you Here's think the apple. What happened when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Malim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero. I'm sure he was. This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it! Oh, you are? No man is. It is beautiful, is it not? He had gone nuts! Ah! Yeah, he had gone nuts. So, what am I supposed to do now? Well, out here? We the apple to save a bus. Why should we really save that bastard? Uh, oh, ouch, that hurt. We should be erased. Ah, uh, what? Okay, that, okay, that, that's the tower, that's the tower where he is. Now, I must climb up. Thank you for the apple. He did what die. And I didn't lose any health. Are they dead? No, we're quite still alive. Forgive me. I did not know. Buy me a burger. 
from Acre and uh, we are done. Yes, full synchronization complete! Man, I like how they, how he said Will you teach anything? Will, will you teach us anything? Or will you all kill us? <laughs> Perhaps they will kill you all That's my voice Ah, back to the prison Altair Barely 26 and already a Grandmaster in command of a divided order how does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? Well, it wasn't quite that unlimited, but still, yeah, he was quite awesome. Age 26 and already a grandmaster. I mean, you're a grandmaster at age what? 50? 60? Yeah, but, but you're, quite, uh, you're quite awesome at that age. Memory sync, sequence 4 completed! Yes! And if we would go. Blue. Achievement, the prince. Whoop, prince. I've made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. Oh, that prince, yeah. He's a clever young man with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Duh, she's a citizen. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. Uh, yeah, you're quite right. Ooh, that's so noble of you. Ah, uh, it's your, you like Sofia, don't you? Not only that she's Italian, but she's hot. Really hot. And a little bit, she's a little bit too young for you, Ezio. Sorry to say, but you're not 30 anymore. Not even 40. Sequence 5. New items are like bookshops. And there's a new mission over here. 